Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Now at the end of last episode of our modular garden build, I'd completed the base, got it all leveled up, all looking great. And I stuck it under the tarp for the best part of a week just to get the wood dried out really. I mean, it's treated wood and everything, but I needed in my own mind to get it dried out before I started with the next stage, which we're gonna look at today, which is getting some of the insulation between the joists. It's 50 millimeter PIR insulation. Um, which I'm going to cut with my track saw and get it sort of squared up with my rail square and then I'm going to foil tape it down pretty much as simple as that really uh, so yeah it's a bit cold like but you know what I mean job's not going to do itself so let's get crack on <laughs> One down, about 30 odd more to go. morning into uh, day two truth be told wasn't a great day yesterday i've not been feeling too clever uh pain wise and stuff but just got to get live with that really but i didn't really get a lot done i got a handful done uh i've friction fit you might call them which is what's good but those that didn't and there was a couple uh i got hold of some of me i had found a tin of expanding foam don't know if it's the right thing to do but it seemed like a good idea to plug those gaps uh yeah, and it was just freezing cold. My good arm, um, my good hand just froze solid, so I thought it's probably wise to stop. Uh, feel a bit better today, though. I uh, suppose, suppose best to get the uh, the big top down and uh, get on with it.
morning we're into day three okay had a really good day yesterday all right first day wasn't too good i haven't been feeling too great the last few weeks to be honest pain wise and stuff so um but yesterday felt a lot better flew through it now i'm on to day three which i'm hoping to get it finished today i'm kind of chasing the clock a bit because i think in about two or three hours it's going to rain and i'd rather not be doing this in the rain to be honest so uh, i've got two barriers though uh, apart from the rain which is barrier one i've only got one full sheet left which is obviously not enough for that i have got some large off cuts if you like which will hopefully fill the gaps at the back is where to put the extra noggins in if you remember just in case in the future if i buy anything more substantial machinery wise it'll support it a bit more with the floor so anyway enough chit chat uh best crack on and hopefully a couple of hours i'll get this finished I'm gonna have to go and get another sheet. The off cuts won't. Nah, just short. Anyway, let's go and let's go and get one before they shut. Ah, oh, just got back. Oh, well, shut until the new year, haven't they? Tried three. Oh, oh dear. Oh, might leave it at that. I'll see what I can do with the scraps. Right, uh, we're under the tarp because it's kind of sleet, snow, rain. Uh, I know cold is relative um, because if anyone's watching this in Scandinavia, they'll be going, it's t-shirt weather. But from where I'm from, it's freezing. Uh, but this job isn't gonna do itself. I've got to crack on. Um, one thing I am gonna try though, I've got this from Screwfix, is the foil tape. This stuff hasn't got any of the backing tape uh, on it that I need, usually have been gnawing off with my teeth like a guinea pig so it's straight to foil so that might possibly save a little time right get the tunes in and let's get on with it
Well, another day, another season. Uh, oh, much nicer than yesterday, obviously. So I got the tarp off. The tarp was frozen solid this morning, but thankfully the sun is kind of drying a bit of the moisture out because when you're putting this stuff down, uh, if it's not dry, the surface, it simply just won't stick. So I've been wiping it down with kitchen rolls to go along and also to try and clean it up a bit so you haven't got any dirt. Uh, because if you don't put this down right, then simply there's no point in doing it, I guess. So anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, I'm going to have a good run at it today because it's going to be raining tomorrow. So I'll try and get most of it done. And that brings us to the end of this installment of my modular designed workshop. Just a few things to take from this video. Firstly, if you're a one man band like I am, it's not a winter job, okay? It's a spring job, it's a summer job, it's not a winter job, okay? Just uh, be warned on that one. Uh, secondly, just with the PIR insulation, you could just as easily have cut, cut it with a traditional saw, but uh, using the track saw, it gives you a lovely clean cut, but also with the rail square as well, you only have to mark it once, and obviously the rail square squares things up, and you get a nice clean cut for those friction fits. Just in regards to the friction fit, I found actually using my feet uh, with my boots on just to uh, compress the insulation into place as opposed to using the rubber mallet worked a lot better because the mallet could actually leave some indentations in the insulation which you don't particularly want because you're just going to have to tape them over later so that might just be a little bit of advice if you're thinking of doing this in regards to the next installation I'm not 100% sure when the next episode's going to be because I'm going to have to be then putting the flooring down which is 18mm uh, ply that I've got. I've decided I'm going to varnish it on both sides before placing it down but I'm going to need a run of dry warmer weather really before I get to that stage so I'm going to be umming and ahhing as to when to do that and keeping an eye out on the weather forecast in the coming weeks. Uh, as ever everyone take care I know it's troubling times at the moment. Do look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Thank you.